Hey everyone, it's Monday. We got a new tool. This will make socket number six for the programming farm. This is a Zeltec Super Pro 7000. Um, it's an older model, uh, vintage around 2014, 15-ish, I think. Um, I needed this adapter for the 6100N. Um, that, the adapter for the 6100N is a DX5158, which is a BGA168, which the EX5223 is a BGA168. This supports the chips that I'm, I got coming in um, in late October. So, let's power this thing up. Fan's a little loud. But, um... She, uh... Seems to work. Well, she powers up at least. I loaded a program up to the... SD card because this model, unlike it has Ethernet also, um, unlike the 6100N, the 6100N, which is current production still, you still uses a compact flash card. Um, but the replacement for this one was a 7100 and it went up to a the current production, which is 7500, similar form factor uses the GX adapters, which are the same physical size uh, as the EX. The only thing different is the protection chip. Okay. The EX adapter. It has its protection chip there that chip talks to the programmer when the programmer says so when you choose when you select a device it says you need this socket it tells it talks to this and says i am this socket it's the same chip that's on the dx adapters for the 6100s um the GX adapter is the same. The only thing different is the chip. That's how Zeltec makes their money um, on the adapters. Because if you have if you have this one, they'll say you need to buy all new adapters, but all it is is that chip. So that's the only downside to the Zeltec stuff. So just give you a physical look. It's got some discolorization, but for the price I paid for it, it was less than a DX5158 adapter. And this supports a little bit more NAND than the uh, 6100N. I am getting a little confused on their data sheet. They've, Zeltec.com has one from 2015 and the Zeltec China site has one from 2020 with about double the device support. So let's flip this thing over. I see five screws and I have my gloves. Um, this thing's got a distinctive odor, um, not burnt, um, kind of like a um, creepy crawler odor. Um, so it came, looks like it was in Southern California. Um, darn snap on piece of crap. Grab a different one. Grab a red one. See if that's magnetized. 
negative. The only thing I don't like about snap-ons, they lose their tip magnification. So, let's just magnify it. So there's five screws. I just hope there's no creepy crawlers in these, but I always, anything I anything that comes into the shop uh, that's gonna stay here, I always do an inspection on it because I would really hate to get creepy crawlers. So, okay. Let's lift the bottom off. Come off. There she goes. Oh, look at that. Just got a little dust. I don't see any bug poo. Just dust right now. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, she is a little dusty. The fan is a little loud in this, so I'm going to get the model number of the fan and see if we can... Uh, Get like a Nakasha or something decent and quiet. Um, looks like, not sure if that's, yeah, it looks like flux. So, I wonder if that's factory, factory repair. Um, back the display. So, okay, well, let's start with the power switch. I'll take the power switch off. That looks like the DC jack is uh, tight in there. Okay, looks like she's screwed down on like the uh, 6100s and the 5000s, they're not screwed down. They're just flapping the breeze. So. Magnetize that. That's a long screw. Well, at least they have inserts and they're not self-tappers, which is a sign of the quality of these machines. Really dislike self tappers. Okay. It looks like there's a header there. Okay. Pull the SD card out. Okay. This is the Zeltec Super Pro 7000 SP7K power board. Yeah, it's that. Probably, probably the same uh, buck converter as uh, 6100N's power supply looks kind of similar. So. But let's get to what I'm getting in here for is the fan. KDE 
one, two, four, five, PF V1. It's 12 volt, 1.2 watt. Okay, I'll put the size of the fan down in the description. Okay, so we've got flex cable. Let's see, those are headers, so there we go. That's for the membrane. And we're going to tab down on this flex cable. There we go, white tab. I don't like flex cables. Oh, look at that cake. Yeah. Should we try to eat it? No. <laughs> okay. In case you wanted to see inside there. Closer shot of the blobs on the back of the display. And it's part number WYPCB177A model WYM204D. Okay, so that's the, that would be the top of the board as it's sitting. That would be the back that orientate that right and the adapter would fit there okay let's see how we take this one apart this is a little different than the others that a little different design um, okay mm. kind of like a comb type standoff okay so this is SP 7K CPU board version 4.0, copyright 2011. Um, looks like similar connectors. Just give that a slight pull. There we go. So board one. Is the CPU board and of course common. Uh, it says ATEL. Um, let's do a trick there. Nah, we're not. Ooh, pen a pen. Watch those gloves. And I'm not going to be able to read that. A little bit of hair inside this one. It could be from my mat too. I do have my kitty cat. Okay, so not sure if these are all labeled, so I'm just going to put them one across the across so we don't get them mixed up. So this one is SP7K IO board version 2.2. That's 2012 uh, 02. And it's got a Xilinx Spartan it's at a XC3 5200A. 
a Spartan 3. Uh, so that's the AO board. Back of the AO board. Next board, SP7K V1, V2, board 2.0, uh, 2010, again, a little older. So, you know, when people use the TL888s and the GQ4s, and oh it's 48 pen drivers these are 144 pen drivers um let's flip that over got some like silvery dust all right next board And then this is the SP7K V3 board, another 2010 date. It's Yeah, I don't know what type of dust that is. I'll clean off these boards here before I put it back together. And I'll save you guys the pain of me reassembling this thing. And the last board in the cake stack is an SP7K. GND, which is probably ground. This one is 2012-06. So I'm going to assume this one is roughly around 2012 manufacture date. Latest board in it. Well, no creepy crawlies. I don't see anything glaring at me, if anything could be wrong. Um, fan is a little loud. But, let's get that up here so you guys can see. I'll put a, I'll rearrange this for the, for a picture. And, um, I will have a blog post shortly and I will link it in the description. Um, of the teardown here with uh, try to get as close to photos as I can with the boards without distorting. I'm really not a photographer. Um, but this is the teardown of the Super Pro, the Zeltec Super Pro 7000. But, uh, you guys can comment 